is incredible. The native species being that beautiful. A really, really beautiful young corn snake. Ah. Oh, three waters. Ah. Oh boy. Good little buddy, thank you. Thanks, little buddy. Let's get him off back into the glaze where he'll be safe. Man, that is epic, boys. Oh, that's a nice one. He's huge. Ah! Oh, three waters. Ah! He's angry. God damn, shorty, get off. Nerodia have an anticoagulant, so that's gonna leak real bad. But man, look at the look at the size of that green water snake. I'm gonna just let her go. She's pretty mad. She just got me real good. Ooh. Big old green water. Shiesty, dude. Cool, dude. That hurt. That is not freaking cool. Just because it's not venomous doesn't mean it can't tear you up, man. That's a really, really beautiful southern toad. Now guys, for those of you who like to do this and comment that I'm an idiot, first of all, I know. Second of all, I'm all the way up here. I'm just looking for me. I'm pretty sure it's a southern toad. I'm not a toad expert, all right? I'm an expert on your grandma, so don't yell at me. Wow, this is so awesome. It's a nice king snake. Bro, this is a brooch king snake. This is one of the snakes I wanted to find more than any other snake out here tonight. Such, such incredible snakes. Holy crap, man. This is a, such a healthy individual. Super, super high Brookside percentage. Now these can vary all the way from black to this crazy, crazy yellow. Holy smokes. Pound for pound king snakes are some of the strongest snakes on the planet. And most of you guys watching this know why they call them king snakes. These are actually snake eaters. So this snake's out here looking for corn snakes. Oh, I'm out of breath, I'm so excited. Out here looking for corn snakes, ring necks, Nerodia, really anything, even pythons. These snakes eat pythons. Isn't that crazy? One of the few animals in the glades that really eats Burmese pythons. How incredible is that? These guys are out here doing the same work we are, and that is why we admire them so much. Dude, this was my number two most wanted to catch snake tonight. Number one, obviously, being a python. Oh, wow. That's a good shot. That is incredible. A native species being that beautiful. I can't believe it, man. Snake eater, look at him. Using that insane strength, that same strength they used to devour other snakes, he's using to just periscope up. Check that guy out. Can you believe it? The Brooks King Snake. I had one of these growing up as when I was a little kid. I was like 12 years old, I had a Brooks King Snake. Once I moved to Florida, I realized they got this pretty down here. You just get obsessed. You just, I mean, dude, look at me right now. I'm giddy, I'm like a little kid on Christmas. And you can see he's got some odd, markings there there's a few dark spots on him really really cool man holy holy crap all right i'm gonna get some pictures of this guy real quick because this might be the prettiest king snake i've ever found and we're gonna keep on guys check this out i don't want to be too rough on him but he's actually got a pretty wild meal in him there it looks like he had a turtle i mean i don't know if you need a baby turtle that's really what it looks like maybe a frog or it could just be a snake or a mouse and he just has it kind of tightened up down there at the bottom Anyways, though, we've already disturbed this guy enough. We're very excited, so he took some pictures with him. Now we're gonna go for the release. Let's check this out. All right, I'm gonna set him down here. And look at that. As bright and as beautiful, this is a huge king snake, you guys, wow. And as bright and beautiful as he is, he's still so cryptic. He still blends in so well. And I really don't want him crossing the road. Even though we're the only ones here, we need to get him to go the way he was going off back into the glaze where he'll be safe man that is epic boys that is such such a beautiful snake if not the most beautiful snake down here in the everglades i'm pumped little scarlet snake spot him slithering across the road scurrying now you can tell it's a scarlet snake hunter hold him up this way you can tell he's a scarlet yeah. he's got those white ventrals whereas a scarlet king his bands are going to go all the way around man Pretty little leaf litter snakes. They'll just, you know, go about their day. They get about, push up against two and a half, three feet, a little thicker. A three feet would be a really big one though. But look at that, you can see his little nose, perfectly designed to just shovel his way through the leaf litter, look for little bugs, lizards, amphibians, anything you can really get, you know, this little slender little snake. They're very, very beautiful though. 
such such cool animals man we're getting some pretty stuff out here tonight we just need to get ourselves pretty invasive snakes we got my boy hunter out here how we all doing one of my assistants one of my og homies back from cincinnati we gotta get him out here on the glaze hopefully get him on a python but who day who day who day by the way who day we day. forget who runs the north we day <laughs> we run the north exactly but he's gonna go ahead and release this little scarlet snake we're gonna keep it moving hell yeah man go little buddy thank you thanks little buddy i'll have to get looking how cool is that man hell yeah guys check this out oh still intact Based on the ribs, based on the size, I mean, it could be a big Nerodia, but based on the fact that it's got no head and no tail, we're gonna sadly assume that that was probably a juvenile Diamondback that uh, someone got a hold of and took home and took home some trophies. Look at that, folks! HD Hunter Davis just grabbed us another Scarlet Snake, a little bigger one, a little darker, but a little more active. Yeah, more active, and it's getting late. Snakes are still moving. It's cooling down, but we just saw another water snake too. We didn't bother to film that one, but. Hell yeah, He's another nice really scarlet snake, dude. That thing is sweet. We're ending our night. We're here at the gate. And look at that. A really, really beautiful young corn snake. And look at this. He's got a meal in him, too. Check that out. There's a lizard. It's pretty digested, but he's got a lizard or something in there. Probably a little green or a brown and all. Some sort of lizard or frog. But, but man. Check that thing out. And you wanna know why they call him a corn snake? Oh, sorry buddy. I'm just trying to show me your ventral skills, bro. Check that out. That old Indian corn style pattern. How neat is that, bro? Also, you find me cornfields that eat rats and stuff, but that's actually how they got the name corn snake. A lot of you, like me, this is your first ever snake. This is my first ever snake. His name was George. He's still alive. A friend of mine has him back in Ohio. But damn, dude. That thing is so cute. Good spot, boys. I was locking up the gate, they called me over, so we got some pro herpers out here, man. That thing is too sweet. All right, you lovely people. Real quick before I feed my buddies here. For those of you who ordered merch, you're thinking, well, it's taking forever. It's, I'm hoping they didn't lose my order. They definitely did not lose your order. Like I've said previously in other videos, the company I'm using is maybe just not the most professional or whatever, but also mainly I'm gonna take some of the blame here because I did post the merch the day that I dropped it. So I probably should have waited, but I was just so excited. Um, blah, blah, blah. The point I'm trying to make here is I ordered my test package the day I dropped my merch. And I just now got my email with my shipping confirmation. So it's coming. It's just inconsistent. A buddy of mine ordered merch a week ago. He got his merch five days later. I ordered my merch the day I dropped it. And I still have only gotten one woman's XL t-shirt that I cut into a sleeveless. So please bear with me. It's coming. If it doesn't, again, reach out to me. Some of you have reached out to me. I tried to respond to most of you. I think I responded to everyone, but I might not have. But anyways, thank you guys for ordering it. Please stick with us. It will get there. But in the future, I'm not going to just post it the day it's ready because this is what happened. Tyler warned me this would happen. Chandler warned me this would happen. But I was too excited, so I posted it anyways. Oopsie doopsie. So thank you guys for buying it. Thank you for sticking with me. I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. It's coming. If I had my merch, I'd be wearing it in every episode. And I don't. We'll all have it soon. We'll all be happy. We'll all look swag. Alrighty, we're going into Prometheus's cage here. Let's see how my buddy's doing today. Hey there, superstar. How you doing, buddy? Now, for those of you who don't know, this is Prometheus. He is a non-venomous northern pine snake, patternless northern pine snake. Super handsome fellow with a bit of an attitude, but we love him anyways. And we know he's nice and hungry. He just had a nice big turd drop. Heck yeah, he did. We love when our snakes have turd drops, don't we? Oh boy. Check him out, man. Wow. He's a fiery, fiery snake. No, he is not the biggest fan of me being up in his grill while he eats. But it is cool sometimes to see these colubrids taking down their food, you know. With the kaboon, obviously it's cool watching him walk those fangs down his food. Same with the vipers. But man, something about these colubrids, man. A pine snake I've actually never caught in the wild. I would love to find one. But listen to him. 
rattling that tail, letting me know, hey buddy, I'd prefer you back away, please. Well, sorry for me, Theus, but you gotta fail me, my friend. I don't have to, but I sure as hell am. Man, these things are so powerful. Like, he really doesn't even constrict his food. He just powers it down, chomps it down. You can see, look at that unhinged jaw. Man, he is a handsome, handsome snake trying to find his way to the head of that chick. I'm going to leave him alone and I'll come in here and give him a second one in a little bit. All right, so we had to film the time lapse of making Bob's house because as soon as we went out there to film it, our neighbors started having a party. They were turning up. I can't be mad at them, but I can't put 21 Savage on my YouTube. I wish I could, but can't. I'm not trying to make no money. So you get to listen to so you us just rap. Look at so you just look at. Hope you guys survived the thirst trap. I know your grandma really she loved that it. thirst trap. She R.I.P. G. Ma. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that to her, but uh, someone had to do it. Someone had to do it. Someone had to do it. But that's it. We built Bob a house. We went to the glades. Got torn up, but we're all good. I think he covered it all. And I fed the plant snake. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember, the merch is coming. Be patient. We talked about it 20 seconds ago, probably, in this video, depending on how I edit it. I love you guys. We like. also apologize to your family because of your grandma. The whole grandma thing. We, yeah. we covered that, but it's bad. Sorry, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. I don't usually say all this, but like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll know if you do it.